Hello, hello, welcome to Heal in a Sun Tarot. So today, guys, we're going to be taking a look at how do they feel about you. So this is a general reading, so it may or may not resonate. This is also a pick-a-card reading, so take the time to see what crystal or what uh, pile specifically is resonating with you at this time. So we have pile one, pile two, and pile three. Okay, so how do they feel about you? All right, if you guys wanted to book a personalized reading with me, head over to healandascentero.com. I offer extended and same-day readings. All of the information is going to be posted down below on my website. All right, so let's take a look. So pile number one, I'm just going to move these over. Okay, so how do they feel about you? Let's see what we have. We have aptitude. This is a new deck, so I'll probably grab my book for that. We have retreat just to see what the specific meanings are for all of these. We have Mute. Oh, wow. We have Abandoned. We have the Lovers. And we have the Ten of Cups. Wow. Okay. One sec, guys. <clears throat> so right off the bat, um, very positive energy. I, I do feel like you and this person are probably not in communication, though. Okay. Um... Okay. All right. Yeah. Sorry, guys. I'm just confirming this card here. So how this person is feeling is right now they're retreating from you. They feel abandoned. So either you might have stopped communicating with this person or they could have also stopped communicating with you. But either way, they're the one that's actually feeling abandoned at the time. So at this time. So they feel like they've lost you. They feel lonely without you. This person, um, is, it's safe to say that this person does love you and they feel like you're home. We have the lovers and the ten of cups, which specifically says home here. So you feel like home to them. Um, they feel like you're their person. So if there was someone else in the mix, I'm not saying there is, but oftentimes the lovers does indicate, you know, third party situations or, you know, a choice between two people. If there was someone in the past, you are the person, like they know you're their person. There's no question about that. I just feel like with this aptitude card, um, they're not feeling necessarily like they have the skills or the ability to maybe bring the situation into fruition. I feel like they're very focused on their selves. It's almost, I'm picturing that dog in the corner licking his wounds kind of energy. You know, not feeling like he can really, um, you know, your masculine or whoever it is that you're you're doing this reading for. I'm assuming it's probably going to be a masculine because most of you who come on here are divine feminines. It doesn't all it doesn't have to be. So it could be you know a soulmate. It could be a karmic. It doesn't matter who it is, and it could also be a woman as well. Um, but what I'm definitely seeing here is that they feel right now that they don't have the ability to come towards you. Um, they feel maybe like they're not good enough in certain areas of their lives. So maybe they feel like emotionally they're not ready for you. Um, it could be that they feel like financially they're not ready for you. There's a sense of lack. They don't feel a sense of aptitude. Like that it's really coming down to do they feel like competent enough to make this connection happen. So I feel like right now they care about you. This person loves you. They see you as home. They see you as the person that they want to be with. The person that they want to end up with. Okay, someone that they want to build a life with, if they haven't already built a life with you in the past. Um, but this person right now is just not talking. They're in this retreat mode because they're really trying to work on themselves to feel like they're really good enough or worthy enough to be able to come towards you. So right now, maybe this person feels kind of rejected. If they felt like they couldn't give you everything, maybe they pushed you away. Or again, maybe you left and this also triggered their abandonment wounds because they probably already felt like they weren't good enough for you. So if they left, or sorry, if you left, it just triggered that. If they left, I honestly just feel like they might have left or stopped communication because they weren't feeling like they were ready for you. And and I, any way, it could, like I said, it could be financially, it could be emotionally, it could be any, any type of way. They weren't feeling like they're necessarily ready for you. This is a very intense connection with the lovers here. And that's why I said divine masculine, because I feel like it's probably a twin flame or a soulmate connection. Um, it definitely feels like a divine connection here. It doesn't feel karmic, to be honest. It doesn't feel karmic at all, um, especially with the Ten of Cups here, because this is about complete fulfillment. Um, it's not to say that you can't get fulfillment with a karmic, but oftentimes a karmic is there to just provide some very important lessons. This seems more like a someone that you really do share your life with. It seems like someone that wants something long term with you, but they're not communicating that with you at this time. 
they're kind of retreating they're taking a step back um, through this time of solitude though they do feel really alone I feel like this person knows that they have a bond with you they feel very close to you so not being with you is actually very difficult for them um, it's a huge loss to them because they know what it's like to be with you you know you bring a sense of comfort and home to them so not to not being with you is actually very painful for them um, but they're in the process right now of working on themselves whatever it was they, that they weren't feeling good enough about they're working on that now to feel like a better person okay so let's move on to pile number two i hope this resonated if it did um please like leave a comment down below subscribe if you haven't and if you wanted to book a personal reading again all of my information is down below so thank you guys so pile number two how do they feel about you how does your person feel oh we have abandonment i love this new deck it's so beautiful we have worth waiting for. So it's interesting. We've had abandoned for pile number one and now pile number two. Obviously a different deck, but um, nonetheless. We have tribe. We have soulmate. We have open up the four of pentacles. And we have the eight of pentacles dedication. Wow. Okay. So this person feels like you're their soulmate. I'm getting right off the bat that there's probably um, a third party situation. So either it could go either way you might be with someone else and they're feeling like an outsider or you're or sorry they're with someone else and you're sorry did i say that the right way okay let me backtrack it could go either way okay so either you're with someone else and they're feeling like an outsider or they're with someone else and you're feeling like an outsider okay i hope i didn't just say the same thing again but anyways you guys get what i'm saying this person though feels like you are worth waiting for so if there is a situation where um, you know, someone's in a karmic situation or someone's already in a marriage or already in a commitment. They feel like you're worth waiting for. They want to put in the dedicated effort towards you. They want to open up to you. They feel like you're their soulmate. And right now they're feeling a sense of abandonment. So they actually feel like they've lost you. They're feeling um, alone. They feel like they, they're they losing you or they've lost you. Yeah. Part of, okay. Part of that is losing you. They feel like they might be losing you. Um, so that could be a little bit of um, pressure to open up. We do have worth waiting for, but I'm also feeling that this person might feel a pressure now more than ever to open up and to put in some sort of dedication because they don't want to lose you. I'm getting a sense that they're starting to slowly feel the distance. So I'm sort of getting a message here that you might be in some sort of separation with this person over a, a longer period of time. It's almost feeling okay. They definitely care about you a lot. So if in the past this person was maybe back and forth or in and out, they want to dedicate their time to you. They just don't know if they can do it right now. And again, I think it's either because you're in a situation with someone else or they're in a situation with someone else. So it's like you guys, while this person feels like you're their soulmate, there's this blockage with someone else. There's another person in the mix. Um, they don't want to let you go though. This person does not want to let you go. And that's why we have this abandonment. They feel um, they don't want to be abandoned by you. They don't want to feel this way. Um, the other message I'm getting is if they're the one that's with someone else, they're having a hard time leaving that situation because they have abandonment wounds. So this is someone who maybe holds on to things that aren't necessarily good for them just because they don't want to be alone. And I know that might sound weird because you think, well, if they don't want to be alone, why would they just be with me? But it's, it's kind of a bit of a codependent energy is what I'm feeling here. Like this person might be very attached to someone else, not necessarily because they have feelings, but more so the fact that they don't want to feel that that loss because it triggers an abandonment wound because it's something that they haven't yet healed. So this person might have to overcome that before they come towards you. But they do feel like you're worth waiting for because you are their soulmate. They want to be able to open up to you, especially if they didn't in the past. And this person might be taking time to work on themselves. This is very similar actually to pile number one because I did say in pile number one that there could be a third party. Pile number two, I feel like specifically I am getting strongly that there is a third party. So if you know that you're not in a third party situation, whether it's on the other end or your end, this reading or pile number two is probably not for you. I'm just going to say pile number two is not for you because this is about this is for third parties. OK, um, but they definitely want to open up. They they might take them time because they just feel like right now they have to wait, but they do feel like you're their soulmate. OK. So I hope this was helpful. Um, if you if you did enjoy this reading, definitely give the thumbs up, comment down below your specific situation. And if you wanted to book something personal with me, head over to healandascentarow.com. Information is down below. So pile number three, how your person is feeling towards you. 
We have victimhood. <clears throat> Stay optimistic, okay? Action. Solitude. The Hermit. And we have the Seven of Swords, Theft. Okay. Okay, so right off the bat, the message that I got for pile number three is this person wants to move towards you. And this person might actually be moving towards you. Okay. The only thing I'm not loving about this pile is the Seven of Swords and we have theft. The word theft. Just give me a moment. And then we have victimhood. You're dealing with someone who has a hard time taking responsibility for themselves. Okay. But I do feel like they've had a lot of time to be on their own. They've taken some time to do some inner work. And I feel here that this person is, is wanting to bring more positivity into the connection. Because I feel like in the past, this is someone who took on a victim, victim mentality. Meaning that it's kind of this energy of, you did me wrong, I'm not responsible, I'm not accountable, and I'm just going to stay in this negative place. And, you know, victimhood keeps us stuck, right? And I feel like maybe this connection didn't move forward in the past because they blamed you for everything. They never took accountability. They never saw what they were doing wrong. And in essence, they stole from you. And I don't mean physically, although some of you, it could be physically they stole from you. But most of you, it's emotionally. This person emotionally stole from you because they were taking your emotions and they weren't returning the same, okay? They were taking away your positive energy and they were not returning it because this is someone who does not take responsibility for their actions. However, I do feel like they've had time alone. So if you're in a separation with this person, they've had time alone to seek themselves. They've had time alone to figure out, you know, how can I take responsibility for my part in things? And now they're wanting to take action towards you. I feel like this person will probably come towards you very soon if they haven't already. If this person has just recently come back into your life, that's why, because they have done some sort of soul searching. Um, I do feel like, again, they want to, they have a more positive outlook on things because of the time that they've taken to themselves. And they're, they're more optimistic about this. I feel like they're wanting to give to you because in the past, this person probably took a lot. They took, they took, they took theft, right? They kept taking, but now they want to give to you. They understand that, you know, when it comes to love, when it comes to a connection, it's a give and take. Now, I got to say, I, I feel like this could be more of like a karmic situation. It doesn't have to be, but it feels more of like maybe a karmic soulmate type of energy. Um, but nonetheless, like I said, they do want to give to you because they know in the past that they took from you. I feel like they're overcoming this victimhood mentality, and that was the issue in the past. You know, it's, it's tough to deal with someone who hides behind their mistakes, who hides behind their insecurities, who hides behind... Um, you know, this shady behavior. And I feel like that's what you were dealing with in the past. You might have walked away from them. Something might have came in and kind of put a barrier between the two of you is kind of what I'm seeing. It might have been like divinely guided that the two of you were kind of separated in some way. Um, but I feel like it was needed. So if you've had time apart from this person, it was definitely needed. Um, but I do feel like they will be taking action towards you very soon because they are now wanting to give to you as in the past they were wanting to take from you. Okay. So I hope this reading resonated. If it did, definitely give me a thumbs up. Um, subscribe if you have not already. Comment down below. And if you want to book a personal, all the information is down below. Thank you guys so much. Sending you love and light. And I wish you all of the best on your journeys. Take care.